Hi there, thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKinnon with the WBZ News Update. We'll check your top stories right now. The man who is accused of shooting David Ortiz says he didn't know it was the Red Sox legend from his jail cell. The man told reporters it wasn't for David. It was confused by the color of his clothes. He said he didn't see anything else, and the man admitted the shooting was part of an $8,000 hit job. Ortiz is still in the ICU at Mass General, where he is in guarded condition. The MBTA says it is working around the clock trying to repair the red line following Tuesday's derailment. The T says the track has been fixed, but they're now working on signals and switches that were damaged. Engineers are expected to run test trains this weekend, but it's unclear when regular service will resume. Work is still underway to clean up a massive water main break in Salem. Last night, the main broke on Bridge Street and flooded part of the commuter rail parking lot. Salem City officials say some people may see lower water pressure or discolored water. Let's get a check of the forecast now on this Friday afternoon with Sarah Robleski. Hey, Sarah. Hi there. We're watching for this disturbance to come on through, meaning we'll see a few scattered showers, a quick hitting uh, passing on through this afternoon and evening. And it won't impact every community, but don't be surprised to see those scattered clouds like we're seeing in Boston right now. Temperatures in the 60s to lower 70s with a gusty southwest wind. Best bet of an isolated shower will occur through the afternoon and into the evening hours as this disturbance passes through. And then later on tonight, we'll notice the risk really diminishing, but we'll see some high thin clouds and temperatures showing. Sure enough, we'll stay on the mild side. 50s, close to 60 in the city with that wind turning out of the west southwest. So the weekend looking fantastic to start. We're going to notice Saturday the pick of the weekend with temperatures in the 80s, 70s at the coast. Sunday gets a little bit tricky. There's a front that's going to be coming on down, and sure enough, that may spark the risk of a few showers and storms and more humid air. So we're noticing by Saturday really just bright sunshine. High thin clouds will increase late in the day, and there's that front to the north and west. We'll have to watch how far south it goes. We may be able to see some dry times at least during the morning before that front scoots on further south. But we'll really have to watch that front closely because if it comes through sooner, then sure enough, most of the day we'll see the risk of those scattered showers. Unsettled weather, though, continues into early next week as that front lingers near the area. That means the risk of scattered showers and storms through at least Wednesday. Chris? All right, Sarah, thank you very much. And thanks for checking in with us. I'm Chris McKinnon. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.